Finally, Keith, this rain is moving out of here, and the weekend doesn't really look too bad. No, it, and we need a little sun, like I was thinking Definitely. about that. Yeah, there just has <laughs> there's not been much at all this week. The weekend does look good, so that's good news, and we'll talk about what comes after that in a minute. But um, the radar, man, consistent. No models had it sticking around quite this long. Uh, down East Maine, yes, but this is uh, a little bit farther southwest in West Cassett, for example. I would have thought we'd be cleared out by now. Still raining and snowing across central and northern Maine, just mixing back and forth in the Bangor area, 38, 36 in Millinocket, 33 in Greenville. That's good enough to get it done. We will see accumulating snow. This is not additional snow. This is total snow that we expect over northern Maine of three to six inches, one to three north of about Orono to Dover Foxcroft over to Jackman too, and then under an inch. But in the shaded um, kind of white color here, that's indicating that we could see a coating at least of snow later on tonight. And a lot of that will be easier once the sun sets in about an hour or so. Still snowing after midnight across northern Maine and down east Maine into four or five in the morning. We get that out of here. Most of us right from the get go tomorrow see a lot of sunshine. It's a really good looking day. However, what you can't see on this model, and you won't see if you just look out the window tomorrow, is it's going to be very windy, breezy. It's right on the line there with gusts up to 30 miles an hour. Northwest winds pretty consistently 15 miles an hour plus. So that will be a bit of a detriment to the day, but overall a nice bright day otherwise. We start on Sunday, Easter Sunday, with some clouds. We roll those out by about midday. In the middle of the day into the afternoon is nice. Upper 40s, couple of low 50s with a mixture of sun and clouds. We do it again on Monday. Monday looks pretty good too, partly cloudy with maybe an isolated flurry in the mountains. All is quiet really through the day, even on Tuesday and then Tuesday night into Wednesday and Thursday. That's the storm system that we already started talking about and you're probably going to be sick of by the time we actually get to it. But this signal is strong for Wednesday and Thursday next week of a potential nor'easter developing here. It's really just a question of the exact position of the low at this point. There's going to be a big low out here, but if it's sitting here, as the computer models have indicated the last couple of days, that is a great spot for a snowstorm, even in April, even in the middle of the day, even along the coastline. So it'll just come down to, is that low right there? Is it here or is it a little bit farther west? But I don't see any situation in which we're getting away with this storm not hitting us at all. So um, pencil it in for Wednesday and Thursday, especially Thursday. A couple nice days ahead of that. And um, the good news is we might use all our storminess up mid next week, which could potentially um, clear the way for a good looking eclipse. Statistics. To spin this. Well, yeah, but no, that's huge. You know, a lot of people, <laughs> even when I post about this storm, are like, okay, okay, whatever. What does the eclipse look like? Yeah. And the early read is pretty good. So hopefully we can keep that going. All right. Thanks, Keith.